Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Among military equipment, there are special vehicles designed to destroy enemy tanks with a missile strike. As a rule, such vehicles are highly mobile, and special launchers are installed on their roofs. Today, we will show you the 10 most amazing anti-tank missile carriers in the world. HJ-9 The AFT-9 is a Chinese anti-tank missile carrier. The AFT-9 is armed with more capable HJ-9 anti-tank guided missiles. This anti-tank missile carrier was adopted by the Chinese Army in the late 1990s. The HJ-9 anti-tank guided missile was developed by Norinco. Its development commenced in the late 1980s. It is designed to engage main battle tanks, armored vehicles, and fortifications. The HJ-9 has a semi-automatic laser guidance. Once the missile is launched, the operator only has to keep the sight's crosshair on the target. Maximum range of fire is up to 3 miles. It is claimed that it penetrates up to 1200 millimeters of steel armor. The AFT-9 anti-tank missile carrier is based on a chassis of a WZ-550 4x4 armored personnel carrier. Nine P one forty eight. The Nine P one forty eight is a Soviet anti tank missile carrier. It is based on a BRDM two armored scout vehicle chassis and is fitted with Conkers anti tank guided missiles. The Nine P one forty eight vehicle has five Conkers missiles in ready to launch position on the roof and carries ten reload missiles internally. When not in use, the whole launcher with missiles is retracted inside the hull. The launcher is reloaded under complete armor protection. A baseline missile has a high explosive anti tank warhead. It has a range of up to 4 kilometers and penetrates 600 to 670 millimeters of steel armor. The 9P 148 is operated by a crew of two or three men. Armor of this vehicle is rather limited and provides protection only against small arms fire and small caliber artillery fragments. Chrysanthema The Chrysanthema is one of the latest Russian long-range supersonic anti-tank missile system. It has been designed to deal with the latest and future main battle tanks. The Chrysanthema is considered as one of the most powerful systems in the world in its class. The Chrysanthema launches supersonic missiles with a range of 1,300 to 20,000 feet. The Chrysanthema is intended to be operated day and night and in all weather conditions also in various natural and man-made countermeasures environments. Two missiles are carried on the launch rails in combat order. The Chrysanthema can launch two missiles against two targets simultaneously. This missile system can also target low-flying helicopters. It carries 15 missiles inside the hull and can engage up to 15 targets within a few minutes. Coronet D The Coronet D is a new Russian anti-tank missile carrier. It was developed as a replacement for the aging 9P-148. Prototype of the Coronet D was first presented in 2011. This vehicle has two quadruple launchers. In traveling mode, the launchers are kept inside the hull. However, it only takes a couple of seconds to raise the launchers and engage the target. Each vehicle carries a total of 16 missiles, while 8 missiles are ready to use. This anti-tank missile carrier uses Cornet EM laser-guided missiles. It has a range of 8 kilometers and penetrates 1100 to 1300 millimeters of armor behind explosive reactive armor blocks. It is sufficient to defeat even the latest main battle tanks. The Cornet D can also engage surface ships, helicopters, and drones. Maximum ceiling of engagement is 29,500 feet. M1134 The M1134 Striker is a long-range anti-tank missile carrier. 
It is the Brigade's primary anti-armor system, capable of defeating any armored threat, even at extended ranges. The M1134 is used in striker brigades in separate anti-tank companies. The M1134 fires the TOW-2 heavy anti-tank guided missiles. It is also compatible with the older TOW missiles. The striker has a two-tube launcher and elevated mast, extending 0.5 meters above the roofline. Missiles of the Stryker ATGM have a range of about 9,800 to 14,750 feet, depending on the version. They penetrate up to 900 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. If required, this vehicle can launch bunker-busting missiles. Basic armor of the M1134 Stryker provide all-round protection against 7.62 millimeter rounds and artillery shell splinters. M901 ITV The M901 ITV improved tow vehicle is a tank destroyer utilizing BGM-71 tow anti-tank missiles. This vehicle played a major role in US armor and anti-armor strategy during the Cold War, proliferated to several other nations, and remains in service abroad to this day. The primary asset of the M901 ITV is its mobility. It has a high enough top speed, range, and power to weight ratio to keep pace with modern MBTs, and it is amphibious without preparation. Nicknamed the Hammerhead, the SEI 901 TUA launcher slews 360 degrees in 10 seconds, elevates to 34 degrees, and depresses to negative 30 degrees. It is lowered when the vehicle is traveling and raised when firing. A total of 10 tow missiles and 2,762 mm rounds are stowed, not including loaded ammunition. Para The Para is a very unusual military machine. Para is not its official name, but rather a nickname. It was developed in Israel in the early 1980s. Its main role was to engage enemy tanks with long-range guided missiles. For three decades, information on this anti-tank missile carrier, as well as its missiles, was kept in high secrecy. Information on the Para was declassified only in 2014-2015. This vehicle was withdrawn from service in 2017. However, it is still unknown how many of these anti-tank vehicles were built. Externally, it resembles a typical Israeli tank turret and even has a fake gun. Operators are located in the forward part of the turret, while the rear part is used for missiles and other systems. The Para carries a total of 12 anti-tank missiles. The Para fires Spike NLOS long-range anti-tank guided missiles. This missile has a range of up to 16 miles. LAV-AT The LAV-AT anti-tank missile carrier is a mobile system capable of defeating main battle tanks and fixed fortifications. It can be used both in defensive and offensive roles. It is one of the variants of the baseline LAV-25 armored vehicle. The LAV-AT was accepted to service with the US Marine Corps in the mid-1980s. The vehicle carries a ground mount for the tow missiles with a handheld laser rangefinder. This equipment allows to dismount and launch missiles remotely from the carrier. It carries two ready-to-launch missiles and provides coverage in 360 degrees. There are 14 reload missiles stowed inside the hull. Armor of the LAV-AT provides all-round protection against 7.62 rounds and artillery shell splinters. The front arc withstands 12 7mm rounds. Sturm S. The Sturm S is a Soviet anti tank missile carrier. The letter S in the designation stands for self propelled, as there is also a Sturm V system, used on helicopters, and Sturm LK naval system, used on patrol boats. The main role of the Sturm S is to engage enemy tanks, armored vehicles, enemy infantry, buildings, fortifications. It also has a secondary capability against low flying and slow moving helicopters. 
This ATGW carrier fires nine M114 Kokon supersonic radar guided missiles. It penetrates 550 to 600 millimeters of steel armor. Missiles have a range of 1300 to 16,400 feet. However, at longer ranges, this missile gradually loses accuracy. This carrier can launch three to four missiles per minute. A total of 12 missiles are carried by the vehicle. ADATS. The Air Defense Anti Tank System, ADATS, is a dual purpose short range surface to air and anti tank missile system based on the M113 A2 vehicle. The ADATS missile is a laser guided supersonic missile with a range of 6.2 miles, with an electro optical sensor with TV and forward looking infrared. The carrying vehicle also has a search radar with an effective range of over 16 miles. The first firing of an ADATS missile occurred in June 1981. Canada was the launch customer for the system with 36 units on the M113 chassis ordered for the Canadian Army in 1986. That's all friends, thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the vehicles you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.